Okay, so we created all of these elements and for example, if I want to add kind of dark um, rocks on the bottom or some mix more, well, this can go a little bit below, create one layer and you can see it will create below those layers. And I do like stack those layers in a way I think they should apply top layer and bottom. So because you can see how right here they're laying on each other. So let's go call this rocks. Again, notice we don't use any um, ecosystem or other things. This is polygons. It's still from previous because we're pre-caching. So we can, I'll show you how we can reset and it will reset all this memory will release for us. But anyway, so we on our rocks. We'll go right here. Let's go select natural green and we'll go select like a very dark one color. And you know what? Let's leave it a little bit brighter for this one. Going contrast. And right there you can see how it's going over. But what we're going to do is in a transparency, variable transparency. Okay, we'll go to preload, the small one we have, and we'll go to edit this filter. So we'll go to add one point. We we'll go add second point. So we'll kind of create this very rough, and you can see right here as we're doing it, create all of these points, kind of grainy almost look for us. We just add contrast to this. We kind of smooth this contrast slightly. So let's go ahead and click OK on this. And also, I want to go inside, you know, maybe function scale 0 0.1. Let's reduce. So we'll kind of even make smaller you can see like a noise almost and this is what i want i want to create those rocks kind of spreading right there so next we can go again click on our highlighter so we can see where's the distributions happen and we'll take from the top we'll leave it bottom okay and we'll just add right here again we don't need it create too much but I just want to place it kind of on a flat area slightly so it's almost like right there, let's see there you go there just in a flat area so I want to place it let's uncheck this highlight so you can see how we add all this complexity to our material okay let's go save it and again we did Actually, shoot down relatively to the C, so we kind of preset. I forgot to check on this one. Let me again. Yep, okay, that is the right way. Okay, I think we can tweak more, we can add all additional materials, but right here already we have all this complexity of different materials. We can take our camera and kind of move closer. look below a little bit and let's render so i want to preview some of these materials and as a render you can see we have a nice complexity in overlay of those again this is close up these materials mostly were designed to create from far away when we have it landscapes and what's happening we'll take our camera let's bring a little bit down and we'll look up around right here so this is, we have it, one of our mountain. We can kind of repositioning maybe. Close up. So what's happening if I create second mountain? And I'm going to edit this as well. But this time I'll just increase only once and we'll click to create those mountains so far away. You know what, let me try one more time, see if we can find something more interesting as it's cycling. There you go. So I create this one. I will just position that way and we'll position this. 
And now I have one material that I can just click, it says copy this material. And I can go on my this terrain and I can paste my material. So nice thing is because we did it with a C level. See what's happening when I increase in size. According to the size, you see how it's changing. So it does apply some of those materials. However, I notice right here on a snow top, it's a range. You notice right there. So it does um, kind of clip a little bit to our, and we want to adjust those snow so it's going a little bit up. Okay. Let's, let's decrease this one. Put it just behind a little bit. So we have a preview. Okay, we can create another terrain. Move maybe just a little bit right in this area. Let's open to edit. For this one, just increase again one more time. Click OK. Paste materials because we still kind of remember in our stuff. We can also take and you can always skew a little bit lower. Nice things because you can see how they all matching because we do set up properly with our material. So let's go create one more. I'll go to edit this object as well. Now maybe twice, make a little bit higher. So we'll have a lot of uh, peaks creating for this. Okay, and those peaks actually we go to stretch a little bit. We'll stretch them, we'll make them a little bit lower, and we'll move them in. So right here you can see we kind of applied. And let's go paste our material. Okay, right here. Just adjustments. Um, we can also, if you want to make the same color, we can do paste on our terrain, just in case even some areas that will pop up terrain, but I think we cover very good here. Okay, at this moment, I want to just render and see our landscape. And you can see we have a nice mountains with a cover. You know, we could take snow and a little bit reducing, but again, that should work nice for us. Okay, next, let's work with our lighting. So we're done. We create materials. We place it. Next, I want to take my sun and kind of placing create this golden hour sunset. So right there you can see how we have it falling through. Our, currently our atmosphere is set on photom, um, standard. So let's go to standard spectral global radiosity. Um, we could switch to photometric and photometrics is actually give it some natural haze look so we can go with this. But for the coloring I will go with a standard so we have a little bit more uh, saturated colors kind of in this effect. Okay, as I'm doing ambient light, I want desaturated, kind of more bluish desaturated cyan color. So it will give it us a very saturation on the red ones, which is okay. Uh, let's go to the sky fog. And right here, I want to add dimensions to this easiest way. It's used aerial perspective. And as we pop up, you can see right here, we're adding those hazes kind of to our mountains. Okay. As well, we have our sun and we can reduce some of element of the glowing from our sun. So we'll add a little bit more blue elements. And let's add a little bit on the ground haze. Okay. Now we can play a little bit more with the sun. We can go up which is create a little bit colder and move to the sides. And let's bring a little bit down a little bit more. Normally what I'm doing, I'm looking on the shadows as it's casting because I do like those shadows. And if you remember at the beginning, we was looking on some lights because we don't have it any plans. I would like to use a shadow map. Okay. And let's see how, what we come up. So right here, I'm going to click render right now. And you can see we have a nice terrain going with the shadowing everything. And if we're going with the sun, for example, just let's as example try with that, we'll see how much 
harder those shadows will become. And again, for the landscape without plants, I kind of prefer otherwise, but it's up to your creativity. So you can see how hard those shadows and just compare right there. You see like these elements, how it's softer, look more interesting to us right there. Okay, so let's go back to our sunlight. Re-enable back shadow mapping. Okay, and you know what? Maybe just bring a little bit up and rotate more. So the more we rotate, again, our lights will start catching on the mountains. And what I want to do, I want to select all of these terrains. And you notice how they um a little bit different even when we apply same materials. What I want to do, it is on a snow highlights. I want to actually bring more highlights on this. Okay, the one way to do this also, we can create, select all of them, open one terrain. So it's open for edit, highlights, and right here we're going with the arrow. You notice we are adjusting and moving through all of them. So sometimes it's easy way if you have different materials just to go this way so I want pop up same like snow on the top just increase a little bit shinies you know always so it will look a little bit more icy and kind of give it us effect um, as well, if you think this is too much white, like right here on this first terrain, if we have a too much snow, you always can go back and play a little bit more. So you can increase um, altitude, how much you think it should gone, or um, take from the, you know, from the bottom and adjust those ones so you can bring a little bit higher so we adjust materials and many times you probably want to go afterwards and try tweaking around see how it will look as well sometimes shape like shape of this mantis are not necessarily like it it's kind of skewing so i may be playing readjust a little bit more like this sideways repositioning and see which when it's come up a little bit more interesting for me to see it okay Let's go um, have a final touches with atmospheres and next tutorial.